Fellas, before we get into it, man, this OnlyFans mentality is becoming contagious. This Instagram mentality, the ex these expectations that women have, and even outside of OnlyFans and stuff like that. There are women actually out here that feel the same way. You must pay to even talk to them. So without further ado, man, I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into the clip. And you guys tell me what you think about this. This is crazy. Let's go. Girls that are on the internet, Instagram, or OnlyFans, or whatever the case might be, when we encounter niggas that say, for example, no, I want to meet you in person, we just automatically assume that you're broke as fuck and you can't give $20, you can't give $100, you can't give 1000 or 5000 whatever the whatever the amount might be, we just automatically think that you're a broke-ass nigga mm -hmm. or a stingy-ass nigga. Yeah. So we even if we see you in person, we don't even, we no longer want to fucking see you. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> ew, it's this fucking okay, nigga. Okay, where, where they saying uh, this at? Where they saying this? In your no. DMs or what? I'm not, no! no. You uh, automatically think that they're broke. Like, well, at, at, for, for me for, and for my girls. Why do you get that? Okay, Papa, you like me and you want to see me. All right. So when I got to see you, I got to get my nails done. I got to get my hair done. I got to get my makeup done. I got to find an outfit. I got to I gotta take the time to get ready. We'll and you. I'm going to see you for fucking yes. free. You can't send me no money. You can't be like, okay, baby, here, because I am used to that. I'm used to niggas, like the niggas that I have dated. They send it to you, though. They yes. send it to me. Like, mommy, mommy, mommy here. Right. Mommy here. Get your nails done. Get your things done. Because... Caribbeans, at least me, Dominican, Puerto Rican, we are like that. We like to yeah. cater to our women. Here, baby, get pretty for me. Buy something for me. I want you to wear this color. I want you this. Yeah. When you don't do that, and you just be like, oh, uh, just pull up. I don't like to get money to bitches. <laughs> I don't know. When I see you in person, broke. Well, I don't want to know. No. Stingy. Urrrr. Fuck you. Because I'm dating. I'm single. And I don't give a fuck if you're fat, if you're ugly, whatever. I fall in love with money. You give me money, I just love you, puppy. Yeah, you know, I like money. That's so, what so I like. That's what you Splurge. say. Yeah, so she said a mouthful there, fellas. Like, I automatically assume that you're broke and you must pay to talk to me. Anyway, man, as usual, there's a lot to unpack here. But before we do, it's your guy, JR Wisdom. Hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this. Let's run it up to 100,000. Say less. Man. Fellas, even women that had that aren't OnlyFans women, I've actually heard stuff like this. This is actually going on, and because women are watching stuff like this, and they're going to workshops about how to break my niggas, my niggas, my nigga. How she talking Caribbean? We cater to our men. We we give you money up front without even knowing. No, that's simp shit. That is simp shit, baby. You paying before playing, and I'm paying you based off of. I'm already knowing that you're in this sex industry of OnlyFans and you're selling sex quote unquote in exchange for money so and that's i hear a lot of these only fans women will say stuff like this like you know these guys always want to meet up they always want to meet up of course they want to meet up you know what i'm saying that's how it goes they figure if you're already selling it on here you you you, you should want to meet up <laughs> you know what i mean I don't. I can't understand the mentality of people who would want to pay somebody that they can't anyway. But I, there's dudes out there just like strip clubs. You know what I'm saying? But we know in strip clubs what's going down. You know, in the champagne room and things like that. But she tells this this woman obviously, and there's there's a million other women that look just like her that you don't have to pay anything, guys, that are looking for good men. But you got women like this that are poisoning the younger women, telling them, hey break a nigga get his get his pockets get in his pockets if he want to spend time with you he needs to pay if he wants to girl you got to put on makeup you got to get your hair done you got to get dressed you got to hire a, a makeup artist to have your face beat to the gods to go out with him he's paying for your time you're paying for my time baby why don't you just put a thing up there just put it i wish women would be and there are some out there that would be a lot more vocal and say Hey, here's my price list. You want to take me out? This is what it's going to cost. And this is what, what's inclusive. And that's what I'm saying. Cut out all the bullshit. Just have that up there. If that's the case, if that's what you're trying to do, and you tired of broke ass niggas, da, 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 just say, here's my list. You know, option, option A, option B, option C, option D. This is what's included in it. That way we cut out all the BS. Because if we're going to do this, we might as well let the other stuff go. But we're in this society, this capitalistic society that we're in, we have so much morals and principles. We allow this, but we won't allow other things. It's, it's crazy to me.
So baby, for you ladies who are getting on that type of time, just say that. Just say it. It will make things a whole lot easier. But you take it as offense, especially a woman in your industry. You take it as offense when a man offers to pay for some pussy. You know what I'm saying? That shit is the craziest shit to me. If I'm paying you to get dressed, make that all inclusive in your price list. Or you just want to make it feel, you don't want to feel like a slut. Instead of me just saying, here's the money, you go ahead and do what you're going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? No, I want the feeling of him telling me to get this. Here's $100 for my nails. I want the feeling of here's $150 for your for your dress. Man, fuck that. This shit is getting out of fucking hand, bro. It is getting out of hand with this. And these women nodding their hair. You got some women, you see the bro to the left that was that was uh, sitting to the left of her. He was just like... But dudes, you got dudes on that type of time, though. And the only reason why they're continuing to talk like this because men are doing that. There's no dudes in DR that's doing stuff like that. Trust me. And even dudes in in uh, in, in the States. In New York and Miami. One of the two largest, uh, you know, outside of the U.S., two, two largest areas for uh, Caribbean immigrants to be at. Nah, they're not doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? You just come here, a lot of these ladies come here from these countries and they realize, which I'll do another video on that, about an actual Dominican woman who once she got in the States, she was just like, you know, all these suckers, and she she specifically said black men, all these suckers down in DR are spending the money because we don't know any better. Once we get here, we're like, I'm going to boss up times a thousand and do what I was doing in DR here. You know what I'm saying? So fellas, just be honest if, if if a woman ever comes back with that just say how much how much is it if you're on that type of time how much is it if you're gonna waste your time on only fans but they just saying the crazy it's not crazy because if a man is willing to pay for it that's her reality and at the end of the day it's crazy as crazy as it sounds to us if you partake in this foolishness it's just it's her reality is how she looks at things you know i just feel like your business would go flow a lot smoother from a marketing standpoint and just from a business aspect if you just lay the prices out there if you want to take me out this is how much it costs if you want to take me out and pay for play this is how much it's going to cost we cut out the the bull pucky you know what i'm saying i think we say society is going to hell and all this stuff but it's I mean, feelings, emotions, and love is put on the back burner now. It's becoming a pay-for-play society is what it seems like to me. It's becoming a society of people not valuing quality relationships, people not valuing love, people not valuing just other people. People being looked at as meat, dollar signs, sex, things like that. And it's unfortunate. You know, as much as there are people who say they they want they want genuine love, and it seems like mostly men these days, because women are just here in the West are just ridiculous. They're just like I'm just trying to capitalize and show off my body, compete with other women, and that love stuff can wait. I don't care whose feelings get hurt along the way, just don't hurt my feelings. And that's, that's, it's terrible. That's why I really don't feel sorry for a lot of women who get their heart broken, you know, who get done dirty and stuff like that because women do so much of it and they just, they act like, they act like nothing, they, they've done nothing. But when it happens to them, they don't even reflect. It's the person's fault. I can't believe we're seeing stuff like this these days, guys. But this is the nature of it. This is how things are going. And what can you do other than not participate in it? But like I said, everything isn't for everybody. And a woman doesn't have to talk to you. She doesn't have to cater to you and none of that. That's just not the woman for you. You can't make anybody do anything that they don't want to do. And that goes both ways. Just being honest with you. You cannot make anybody do anything that they don't want to do. So I say, you fellas, you leave these ladies to their devices. 
you come across what women that you find attractive, you shoot your shot. You know, you express your interest if she, and you do your research along the way. If she's not the one, then you go on to the next one. And that's just how you have to keep it. A woman has to qualify and prove herself to you at the end of the day. The way she's talking, you have to qualify and prove yourself to her. And she's up for grabs for anybody with the highest, uh, with the highest dollar. With the biggest checkbook at the end of the day. With the fattest bank account. <laughs> Whatever, man. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. You know, what what do you got? What are you guys' thoughts? And have you ever encountered stuff like that? I've had a woman actually tell me that stuff. Like personally, she told me straight up all the stuff I have to go through to get ready for a date. You should have to pay for it. When they will go for a job interview and do all that same stuff to get a job, that they really end up not liking. But that's just me. Anyway, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a session with yours truly if you're looking for some advice. Purchase all my books and merchandise, t-shirts. It helps to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram, guys. Good luck and I'll fellowship with you on there. Also, much blessings and abundance to you all. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. This is wisdom. Stick around for the next video. Peace be upon you all. I'm going to see you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace. And I know I've put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto you them.